So I've got to start, obviously, with this explosive audio tape of Donald Trump uh, that came out uh, on Friday. Uh, this tape, which was recorded in 2005, on it we hear Donald Trump behaving in, I think it's fair to say, a, a vile and disgusting way. It's not just the mm -hmm. words he uses. He's essentially voicing a casual attitude towards sexual assault. What, what was your response when you first heard it? Well, I think it was the response of everyone else. They're horrible remarks. They're remarks you certainly don't, don't want to hear from anyone, much less a presidential candidate. Then when you reflect on it, uh, he apologized for them. He said he realized that he was wrong, uh, that it doesn't reflect the way he looks at things today. And uh, I think he made a full and complete apology for it. He probably is going to do it again tonight. Uh, so then we have to factor that into all the other things that are involved in this election, which include what's going to happen with our economy, what's going to happen with us nationally. Are we going to have higher taxes or lower taxes? What kind of Supreme Court are we going to have? Uh, all those things mm -hmm. are going are gonna to go on no matter what. And the question is, uh, is this the one issue on which we should decide it? Apparently, Democrats don't think the one issue they should decide their election on is the fact that uh, Hillary Clinton seems to have used the State Department as a pay-for-play operation of, uh, of the Clinton Foundation. Hundreds of millions of dollars, 20% uh, of our uranium sold to Russia, so, and three, yeah. 200 million or so going to the Clinton Foundation. These are things that are, you know, equally as bad, uh, fact criminal. I, uh, but the Democrats I, I seem to overcome that. The Democrats seem to overcome yeah, that, and the Republicans are, you know, panicking. I understand you would want to change the subject. I would, too. Where are you? Um, <laughs> first of all, let, 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 let me say that I don't know that a lot of people who saw the tape, who saw the apology, thought it was a sincere apology. Um, I've heard Trump supporters describe it as uh, not seeming sincere. In the tape, he goes on to say uh, that uh, he goes on to attack Bill and Hillary Clinton for their behavior. Normally, a full and uh, uh, contrite apology is just an acceptance that one did something wrong. And it's not just Which the he words did. he uses. I think it's this, this casual attitude. And, and then no deflection, just I accept it. I, I did something wrong, and, 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 and that's the end of it. He went on the attack against the Clintons, and I think a lot of people thought, boy, this doesn't really feel like an apology to me. Well, first of all, it was an apology. I mean, that, that was, he, he definitely apologized, and I know from talking to him that he genuinely feels very sorry about this, and it's certainly not the views that he holds today. Uh, he's run for public office. He spent the last year and a half traveling around the country. He realizes the responsibility that he has to the people that follow him and that believe that we have to make a change in this country. I think that alone has put a heavier weight of responsibility on his shoulders than he ever had when even he was uh, an entertainment star and the star of The Apprentice. Uh, it's a different man that emerges when you campaign around the country for a year and a half and you hear the concerns and the problems of the American people and you realize that it, roughly half of them uh, believe what he believes and think this country needs a very big change and he's the agent of that change uh, so right but 